Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gold Technical Analysis Session with Mukmik again. So, yesterday's plan that we've got for the buying side, it is not really good. However, it did bounce back for a little bit. Okay, so I'll give you a little recap on that and the reasons why is it not going back up <laughs> and the plans that we've got to make together today all right so let's go straight to the shots so here we go if you remember so i do the replay on the graph and what we had yesterday was this demand zone okay and i said that okay so this is going to be our first buying plant at 1877 to 1876 all right if you remember and what happened was that the price came back down and for the first candle i would say that it is not that bad because okay so this demand zone has been removed by the week of the candle however the body of the candle is still closed within the zone so i would me myself i waited and see the next candlestick because i put my stop loss below that i put it around like 1875 so pretty close to the stop loss but it did not you know hit our stop loss so for the next candlestick the price should back up to 1880 so that's where we could close our position okay so if i enter at 500 points you know i put my stop loss here not even 500 points so i remember my position let me put it there so my position that i put it myself what 1877 stop loss at 1875 okay so that's only 200 points so if you take the risk per reward at one you will hit your take profit so i got to make the profit here and why do we need to be careful on 1880 let me tell you so in the 15 minutes time frame if you can see we have this resistant okay this one used as supports and as i told you so many times so if it doesn't persist over the last support it will turn itself into the resistance and it did so the price came back up touch 1880 and it went straight back down okay so there we go so if you did not take your profit you will hit your stop loss okay so that's the thing that happened yesterday so let's see what we've got for you today all right okay so for today let's go to the daily time frame so in the daily time frame we are still being in our supply zone you need to keep this in mind because it's in a such a large time frame so the broader is quite large however there is a chance that you know it makes the um, confirming signals within this uh, supply zone and the price would drop down significantly and that's possible okay however from the candlestick that we've got yesterday is a doji one so it is still in the deciding phase you know because we reached the supply zone but we're still standing above 1870 so that's how the price is still deciding whether to go up or to go down all right so that's in the daily time frame let's see the four hour time frame so in the four hour time frame if you remember we are still having our demand zone here so the first touch that we made in order was beautiful and the second touch, why is it still bounced back? This is the super hidden divergence that we had in our course. Okay, so this is possible. And what do we have here? So in the four hour time frame, I would be able to give you a selling plan here. Okay, so in the sell for the selling plan, from this point of view, we have the low twice, all right? Because the price used this demand zone twice 
at around the same price. Okay, so what we have here is going to be there first, second plant, and then the third plant. So we are going to have 1892, 1898, and 1906. Okay, so the first one is going to be. 1892 or if you want the significant level as well it's going to be 1890 to 1892 however be careful at the uh, momentum that we've got on the RSI so if the RSI is coming back up shoot back up really high above 70 that is going to be dangerous okay so we will cancel this plan I would not put my order there but if the RSI is not following the price, then that's good. Okay, first plan would work. Okay, so that's for the selling side. What about the buying plan? So in the buying plan, in the four hours time frame, we do have our demand zone here in the four hours time frame, but we do not have, you know, the pattern for buying here yet. So let's drop down to the one hour time frame. So in the one hour time frame, we've got the same demand zone, all right? So I would say, and also let me put the demand zone like that. We have the higher high and higher low here in the one hour time frame. So I would say there is a chance that the price will bounce from this demand zone and test our selling plan. Okay, so first buying plan is that around seat 1878 1878 to 1875 however the price is now being stuck on this you know so if we go back to the four hour time frame this one has been used as a resistance so the price is still testing this resistance if it could not stand above this resistance this buying plan could still be quite you know quite dangerous because the supply zone pushed the price back down let me use my Fibonacci yeah so for today I would say both the selling plans and the buying plans are quite tricky to you know to place an order to place any pending order I would suggest you to wait for confirming signals for all of them okay because the price is still being in this deciding phase is it not you know decide yes if we're going to go back up or down okay so that's going to be pretty tricky if you can tell from this picture is it actually forming this broadening triangle okay so this phase of the graph is going to be the most difficult pattern that we have for trading all right so you need to be careful on both sides but this is going to be the rough plan rough guideline for you for today all right so i hope you learned something new from this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also please click the subscribe button for us thank you very much and please do join me in the bubi project i did send the telegram signals for you and actually today we had one signals which is the selling the qm sell however i would say that since we have this new demand zone formed here i would suggest everyone on our telegram to close that position first because there's a very good chance that the price will bounce from here so i would not give that plan for you guys because it's not it isn't that beautiful anymore all right so that's all for today and i'll see you tomorrow bye